<laughs> okay, hold up. Let's take this back a bit. I rewatched the first part and I was wondering why I didn't bring up the story and it's because it's practically non-existent. But before we talk about the ending, let's give a little context for what's happening right now. Zaleska is the number one player of the game and she secretly works for the people who made the game. Itsuki is so obviously evil. I don't know how you would even think he isn't, but he, he likes you and we're gonna talk a little bit more about him later. And practically everyone else in this game is irrelevant because they don't really add anything. So that's mainly all you need to know. Anyways, after last time, after me showing you me beating like 8 million dungeons, the AI asks you to get more of its parts, which involves more dungeons, until so you reach the final level in the game. And by in the game, I mean in the game's world in the game. It's technically not the final level for you. The bot says her mom's weird and you have to fight another colossal titan robot, which you fought a bajillion of them before. You then talk to Itsuki and he gets emotional because he likes you. The feeling is not mutual because I can't say I ever liked him. Then he suspiciously logs everyone out of the game. The end game finally starts because Death Gun sends you an email. Your AI companion asks you to help level up in the dungeon. Which has the dumbest way to get in because usually you wouldn't figure out how to do it, but I'll, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that. And Kuria starts feeling useless and tries to fight you to show dominance. So you easily trash her, then you fight another big robot because he, he took control of the game. Then he hits you with an attack that causes this whole scene to happen. This whole scene had me <laughs> kind of annoyed to be honest. But anyway, we'll get back to that. I had heard to get the good ending, you need to be friendly with everyone. So I go back and I play the game for like a good five hours. And then I get this. admit they did they did curry ha's ending better than they did zaleska's because zaleska has only showed up for like she's been in the game since like near the start but she has no character at all unlike curry ha who's been bratty the whole game but at least she's been there also her dying line is a lot better it 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 made me feel something at least unlike zaleska where i was just kind of pissed off. But anyway, I looked up how to actually get the true ending this time and... I have no fucking idea how any normal human being is to figure out how you're meant to do this shit. There's no way you would get this ending by accident. Which is the worst kind of ending, because even if you did ev almost everything in the game mode, you most likely still aren't gonna get it, even on your first try. So anyway, I had to whore myself out to get all these little baiting events done, and then do Kirito mode, which, thank god, is short, because I really did not want to play as him. And you get a charm. My problem with this is, this charm plays like literally no part of the ending. This is dumb, because usually in games where there is a secret ending and you get an item, you usually use it in the ending to change something. 
but this charm is never mentioned or shown to do anything at all. I don't even know what it looks like. So anyway, when you get this charm, all you have to do is fight the final boss without getting hit by his death laser, which is really stupid, because if you do the same thing without this charm, you still magically get shot. So anyway, instead of shooting the laser and killing a friend, he just dies. And then, you fight him again, which is, we'll, we'll get into how dumb it is that you fight the final boss twice later. Afterwards, Itsuki's cornered and Yui takes control of the game back from him. Then a nice little cutscene plays from you getting the true ending. And nobody dies in this ending. But now, I have a list of complaints from when I actually did get the bad ending, and trust me, I was pissed. Kuriha was instigated into fighting you from Itsuki, the guy nobody likes. How did Itsuki magically give you amnesia after logging everyone out of the game? Why do you not instantly press him after you log back in? It's a game. There's no way he gave you actual amnesia. It just doesn't make sense. Why does going back in time literally not change anything until you <laughs> look up this true ending and get it? I don't even tell you how to do it, because there's no way you're going to get the charm like I said earlier. I literally never liked Itsuki or cared about his betrayal at all. I can't think of a single person who wouldn't expect him to try to kill you at the end due to the way that he's talking the whole time. Why did we not shoot him after Zaleska dies in the bad ending? Because you can clearly see it. You can clearly see that you have the gun pointed at him. I don't believe he had one pointed at you. And there's no reason you did not shoot him. <laughs> Zaleska's death didn't mean much, but Curry's death didn't mean much more. This was before I got both endings, and I'm, I'm still not wrong. Curry's ending made me like smile like, <laughs> okay. But it... I wasn't crying or anything, like I wasn't like shook. <laughs> Why does your AI companion not jump in front of the beam? Nothing would happen if she was to die in that scene, because she can't actually die. In the bad ending, nobody ends up finding Itsuki. So somehow Detective Big Brain Kirito couldn't track him at all? He doesn't have an IP address in his headset? There's literally no way for you to track this guy who plays an online game all the time and there's no way someone does not have his IP unless he has NordVPN or something. The steps to getting the true ending are stupid. The way they send you back is stupider. The reason I wrote this is because when they send you back from when you get the true ending, it's a good chunk. It's like, if you're not really strong, it's like 30 minutes to an hour. From my understanding, meaning I could be wrong about this, it's only stated that you and Itsuki had real nerve gears on. How does Zaleska and Kuriha end up dying in real life if you get the bad ending? If it's stated that only two of you actually had real ones on. It, it just doesn't make any sense. The true ending is the only time I actually smiled. Because the true ending was probably the best cutscene of the game. Because you get to see everyone doing stuff. Uh, also, a fun fact about me, I don't really like SAO that much. I like the <laughs> I like the spin-off one about Lilen and all of them, but anyway. I'm just saying that because I don't really care about the characters like that. But that true ending was cool because you just see everyone doing their thing, and then you show up with Kirito, and then just back to back, and it's like, ah! Anyway. <laughs> New Game Plus literally doesn't change the difficulty. It just resets from the start of the game. I don't know what else I should have to add on that. <laughs> That's really stupid. It's like, you can, if you go to the first part again, it's still as easy as when you did it the first time. Just you're way stronger now. It's dumb. Itsuki tells you he had a dream about shooting you, and then laughs. I don't know how you were meant to like this guy, ever. <laughs> I, I don't know why the, the writers expected you to trust him at all. I, I liked him about as much as Spiegel. And I don't like Spiegel. <laughs> okay, hold on, I, I got confused to do my own thing. 
If Yui takes admin controls from Itsuki that had the power to log people out, why didn't she just log the others out? I think what I was trying to say here is like... What the fuck was I trying to say? <laughs> all in all, it's a fun game. It's the only SAO game I wanted to play, because the rest look kinda... The story is probably the weakest out of any game I've ever played. I, I typed in Ebro on the script. <laughs> As I never actually cared about a single character in the story other than just kind of being mad at some of them. But the game is actually really fun to play, which is probably what kept me going. The recycling of boss fights is annoying. I wouldn't say the recycling of bosses ruins the game. I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10. Not bad. But I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. Something that you'd play if you just want an anime game and you want to shoot things. The main reason I got it is because I said it looks like Destiny if it was an anime. So, <laughs> I'm kind of a weirdo. I don't know where to put the end card, so... Hey guys, an extremely tired editor here, as I spent all day working on this. Um, all I want to say is thank you guys for watching the last video, and thank you for watching this one all the way through too. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot, sorry. Uh, don't forget to check out the Twitch and the Instagram. I have something else coming out, but I can't tell you guys about it yet. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you stick around for next time.